Hey, what's going on everyone? Um, I'm just going to be doing a short video on what badges are best for Blade Dancer. So, today I'm just going to be showing which ones you want to use, which ones are the best. Uh, badges are actually pretty, I mean, pretty, pretty hard. Not super hard, but they're a little difficult to get in this game. So, definitely you want to be picking the right ones. You know, you don't want to be buying because it's it costs a lot, you know, a lot of time and energy to get the right badges. So, definitely want to know which ones are best. So I'm just going to be going over. Uh, first off, for uh, Mystic Badge, you're going to want to be going to Celestial Basin. And here's the one you want, so let's go. Basically, you're going to be wanting to get the Pulse Mystic Badge. Um, the reason why is because um, basically it increases your critical damage by 20% during your Electric Surge. And your Electric Surge is basically when you're in a Lightning Draw. Um, and you also get 100 100% uh, uh, additional attack power bonus on a successful flicker and obviously you know you're always gonna have a successful flicker because you're just pressing um, LB so it's really simple uh, definitely way better than all the other badges this one is uh, for wind build uh, you definitely don't want that because wind build is a really as strong as lightning build right now at least uh, again this one you don't need this because you already have a flaming scourge cooldown pretty damn low and this one again is for win. So just the additional attack power bonus you get and the critical damage bonus you get is super strong. It's a really good uh, power steroid for your, um, your class. So definitely want to get it. It's about 20,000 peaches, uh, 60 ra uh, raven feathers. Um, I'm working on getting it right now myself. But yeah, it's really good. So definitely get that one. And now we are going to look at... Actually, I was going to go to Mushin's Tower, but I can just go right here. So... We're going to go right to Premier Membership and look at the, um, the Soul Badges. So, there's a bunch of Soul Badges. Uh, I'll just go through all of them real quick. Uh, this one, you don't need. Not very good. Uh, again, you don't need this one. Not very good. Um, this one's okay. Um, the cast time for Electric Surge increased by 3. This is for 3 seconds. Honestly, it's not super needed. It's like okay. Um, but it, again, it's not super strong. Uh, this one is for wind build, don't really need it. Uh, this one again is for wind build, you don't need it. Uh, let's see here. So then you have Holy uh, Fire Soul Badge. These are the new ones, the two new ones from the new season. Uh, again, this is for wind build, you don't need this one. So this is one I recommend, uh, Magnum Soul Badge. Basically when you use uh, Thunder Slash, which is this ability, it reduces the cooldown of your Storm Cleave by um, 18 seconds. So really strong it makes your uh, your storm cleave cooldown like super super low you almost like can use it like twice in a row it's so low um really strong there's two options you can go this one or you can go um this one so basically um when you use a lightning flash it reduces the cooldown for flaming scourge by one second so when you use flaming scourge right here um then you use um let me find it real quick to show you guys when you use flash step it basically re uh, reduces the cooldown of your flaming scourge by one second and basically um, every six seconds you can use flash step during your lightning stance so um, basically you press Z and then you uh, use uh, flash step and it reduces cooldown by one second so every six seconds you can reduce the cooldown of this ability by one second so it doesn't sound like a lot but it's actually pretty good um, these are the two that I see a lot of blade dancers using if you have a full set of uh, legendary soul shields from Midnight Sky, Sky Petal Plains, I really recommend going this one because uh, when you have full set, unlike myself here, when you have full set, um, it already reduces the cooldown of your Storm Cleave by 50%. So um, getting the Magnum one really is like overkill. I think it overlaps with the cooldown, so it's like really useless. So if you're like me and you don't have the full set, this one is definitely way better. But if you do have the full set of the Midnight Sky Petal Planes, or you're planning on getting it very soon, I really recommend getting this one. So, these are the two best soul badges for uh, Blade Dancer. You can choose which one. Both of them are very strong. And then one more time for the um, Mystic Badge. The Pulse one definitely is way stronger than all the other ones. This is because of the increase in critical damage, and the 100% additional attack power bonus is super strong too. So... Uh, this was just a short video just kind of showing you guys basically which ones uh, are good 
basically you're going to be wanting to farm your peaches um, getting your raven feathers for the mystic badge and then for your soul badge you're going to be um, wanting to farm um, what's it called I can't remember the name you're going to be wanting to farm out the tower of infinity so you can get your uh, tokens so it's just a short video kind of showing you guys which ones you want uh, these two for this one and then one more time you want the pulse mystic badge so just remember to try to get these uh, definitely work on them if I had to choose which one to get first I would definitely work on this one because it's stronger than even the soul badges so uh, yeah just a short video I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you